Still talking energy, following the recent revelation by the Nigeria National Petroleum Company Limited, NNPCL, stating that it is grappling with severe financial challenges, which has amounted to over $6 billion debt to petro suppliers, Galaxy TV, and Warren Yumazaka caused reactions of Nigeria over the persistent crisis. The report. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited NNPC says it is grappling with severe financial challenges as it battles mountain debt to petrol suppliers, raising concerns over the sustainability of the nation's full supply. In a statement by its Chief Corporate Communication Officer, Olufemi Shoneye, he subtly confirmed that the debt was the reason for the full queues in filling stations across the country, stating that it is impacting supply sustainability. Reacting to this development, Nigerians expressed their displeasures over how the energy sector is being mismanaged. And it's quite disturbing when, you know, a, an agency that is saddled with the responsibility of making provision for a critical resource is now coming out to say uh, that, you know, something is wrong somewhere. I mean, that shows that we are not ready yet as a nation, and then people should be held responsible for their actions. And oil is Nigeria's cash cow. In fact, it's our only major source of revenue. So for the NNPC, which is the custodian of that oil, to tell us that it is broke, it shows that the country itself is broke. Of course, that's, that's an open secret. We've always known that. So I think the government needs to get its acts together, see how it can sort out the NNPC problem. If it is true, see how it can pay NNPC. Because if NNPC doesn't have money, it can't pay the marketers. If the marketers are not paid, they won't supply, they won't supply fuel. So that might be why the reason why it's one of the reasons why we have this fuel scarcity. So because as regards to the scarcity of the product, only few filling stations had the product to dispense to end users, forcing desperate motorists to queue for hours with uncertainties on whether to get the product or not. The people, we should have a conversation. Policies should emanate from the people who are the beneficiaries of government policies. When policies are handed over to people or thrown at people, then we begin to question our own sense or our own form of democracy. It should be a conversation where you have this military style of democracy, forcing policies on people should engage and interact and have dialogue around policies, then naturally people will revolt and that's what you see in the last protest. Mm. Um, Nigerians are hungry, we've always been hungry for a very long time, but now we are getting angrier and angrier. And people are beginning to feel like they don't have a choice but to come out and protest, come out and react physically, which shouldn't be the case. Look at the last protest we had. You know, despite the intimidation, despite the threats, despite the suppression, if you like, um, we still saw people came out and they were really angry. It showed that people are really feeling the pain. This is not... This comes not long after the company revealed a record-breaking net profit of 3.297 trillion naira for the financial year ending December 2023, marking a significant increase of 749 billion naira or 28% from the 2.548 trillion naira profit reported for 2022. The company had also declared a substantial final dividend of 2.1 trillion naira. Nenwarangi Mazaka, Galaxy TV News, Lagos.